great to usher you into our Friday. Now, it is our privilege to usher you into the weekend with back-to-back -back hits and an irresistible entertainment package. Yes, sir, in King OJ's voice. Well, you know Fridays are extra, extra special mm -hmm. because we're dancing our way into more fun and party while for some, it is extra sleep and rest. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Today's show, as usual, is packed with all the elements and more you need to kickstart your weekend. All our Friday flavors are on cue this afternoon yep. because the weekend just got started and we are glad you're a part of it. So what's your flavor? Hey, hey tell me what's, what's your, your flavor? flavor? Hey. <laughs> okay, it's your homegirl right here. Mm -hmm. It's your girl right next door. That's right. It's the hostess with the mistress. Tell him. Uh -huh. It says honey peas of four shoes, baby. Whoa. Yeah. It says honey rubber, uh -huh. honey money, uh -huh. honey yeah. ma. Next. That's hey. my favorite. Shmo. That is my favorite. I need to change your name on my phone. Ah. We are done. Shmo. Hey. No. Hey. Did you just finished. <laughs> okay. Time to go. Or what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys. You know me. My name is Catherine, but you all know me as Lady Cat. Have real hotness. That's or right. Kate Cat. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right, and my name is Amanda Dara, and I am your favorite Mandy Pandy. Mandy Pandy. That's right. So I saw Amanda this morning, and I just felt like, no, Amanda, was Amanda? And I said, how are you, Dara? <laughs> <laughs> That's the flavor you are, you are feeling today. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so let's tell you what we have lined up for you. Now, today we'll be kicking things off with, of course, the entertainment news. Then we'll check out celebrity birthdays. Then we'll be rewinding to this day in entertainment history. Mandy Pandy will be taking charge of Social View for today, while on the other half, one of us will be showing gratitude on the Truth of segment. On today's Daily Top 5 Courtesy Lush Hair, we will be talking about easy ways to make your braids look brand new. And we will be having a guest joining us from the just concluded Big Brother Niger reality show, after which we will be having a raffle draw right here, because to see Sharp Sharp Game Show giveaway. And we will wrap it all up with today's Happiness is free reminder. So, guys, we are ready, right? Yes, of we course. Are. The party has started. Hey. 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 Love it. See what Savage right there. So, Tom, mm -hmm. are you done? And you know, I actually do love Tiwa Savage's resilience and her strength and her courage and mm. how brave she's been. She's been through so much. And uh, in a recent interview, she made a revelation that shocked many people. Like, mm -hmm. were you shocked when you... Oh, yes, definitely. Because I yeah. was like, okay, where is this coming from? So Tiwa is like, you know what, let me be the one to say this myself. So Tiwa revealed that uh, she had a private video with a current partner. And now someone is calling her, trying to blackmail her to pay for them not to release the video. And Tiwa is like, you know what, I'm crazy like that. I can't just release it myself. Why would I play, pay someone who is blackmailing me? Mm. Um, I mean, as you said, she revealed that she had a sex tape with someone. And it was all very shocking to people because uh, we did not know that that was what was happening. Um, the fact that she decided that to even speak about it, first of all, we didn't even know she was dating. I mean, someone that was thinking about somebody, song, girl, fine. We didn't even know she was in a relationship. You know, so that was like two revelations in one. The fact that, okay, she's actually dating someone, because she actually mentioned at the same time that, oh, the person is also going crazy with worry, uh, but she doesn't want to give this person the um, ability to keep taunting her and keep extorting her for her money. So I think it was a very good move for her to actually do this interview back with that. So now if we're going to see it later on, and she said something, she said she's not going to pay for someone for something that is natural. I'm like, okay. So that's why I rest my statement. So what I just like about it is this is blackmail gone wrong because, you know, when you think that, oh, you have everything about that person and you're going to, you know, dent their image, that yeah. person is coming out to say that, you know, before you even do it. <laughs> Let me let the whole world know. Yeah. And as you said, I didn't even know she was dating. She has a new partner. Mm -hmm. And of course, the person will be going crazy. And uh, well, yeah. Uh -huh. And a couple of so things, many things though, came to mind, the person, yeah. the, the interviewer asked her, um, was it the person that she was dating that yeah. was a part of the leaking of the video? And she said, oh, no. So a couple of things I'm wondering is how did the video leak? If it's with her current partner, like, is it from her? Was it from her phone? Was it from his phone? I feel like it's an inside job. Oh, yes. It is an inside job. <laughs> Job. It has to be an inside job. Yeah, and she was even saying it's not from her team, but that she didn't say the person. Apparently, I think she knows the person that dropped the video because in that interview, she, she stated that 
the person mistakenly posted it and deleted it almost immediately. What kind of mistake but is that? Somebody had already taken it. I don't and think it, it's and a And she mistake. even said it's a short video. She even laughed it off saying, you know what, you guys should know now because I know very soon I'll be trending as memes and everything. And she's most worried about her son because by the time he's 15, fighting with a friend and the video is everywhere, they'll be like, is that not your mother? So she just has to brace him up for it. So, oh wow. my God. Just so we can't so undo certain things. Yeah. And uh, there are people who have ulterior motives out there. Uh, but but you I think know. she can take the video down. I think she can. I mean, when you look at the, the most, one of the most popular cases, which is uh, Kim Kardashian and Ray J, yeah, you, I don't true. think you can still find it today. So it depends on your legal team. It depends on your, your reach. How so, you can trace yes, the person, yeah. how you can sue that person, mm. how you can take those things down and all yeah. that. But it's a lot. I mean, it is just better mm. for it to not have been out in the first place. Yes. But as it is now, we can't undo it. Can't yes, undo it, it is what it is. What it is. Mm. All right, guys, this brings us to the entertainment news for today. And we're starting off with Tubaba, who threatens Brimo with one billionaire lawsuit. Veteran singer Tubaba, through his lawyers, have responded to the social media call out by fellow singer Brimo with a defamation lawsuit. If you would recall earlier this week, Brimo via social media had alleged that Tubaba had some time ago accused him of sleeping with his wife, Annie Divya. He also accused the music star of fiscally assaulting him with the help of other people. Well, in a new twist, Tubaba has gotten his lawyers to write to Brimo, demanding an unreserved public apology and failure to do that. A one billion naira defamation suit will be filed against him. A part of the letter reads, and I quote, the baseless and false accusation has caused unspeakable distress to our clients and his family. You've also caused estimation to be lowered in the estimation of his friends, business associates, and wilder members of the public, and further cost him a significant loss of business, end of quote. The letter also gave Brimo 48 hours to tender an unreserved apology to Tubaba and his family on all his social media pages, adding that he should withdraw all the comments he made about the music star from his social media pages. Reacting to the letter, an unbothered Brimo took to social media to share the letter writing, and I quote, I have received this from Innocent Edibia's lawyers, or so it reads. I will advise they go on to court, as I insist on all my tweets asserted. They are not nonsense. He added, Bros, your reign is over. Stay at home, start a fam. Now music we they do for a year, no be godfather we they form. End of quote. We will keep our fingers crossed and see how all of this mess pans out. You know, uh, hmm. when this whole thing started, <clears throat> Brian Moe's tweets and everything, I was like, okay, what's going on here? And then now the whole thing is getting messy. Tubaba has responded through his lawyers. And now Brian Moe is saying, and I'm wondering... Is this supposed to be a battle for supremacy or what is this? Because now, Brimo is standing his ground that if he likes, he should take it to court. He's ready to stand. Does he have evidence? Because the thing with the court of law is the court of law deals with evidence. So if you're going to accuse someone of something, then you should have had evidence. And if you're ready to take it to the court of law, then you should be ready to face the consequences if you're wrong. So I don't know. The whole thing is just somehow. Honestly, it tired me. Because uh -huh. first of all, let me start from the Brimo letter. I read that letter like three times. I still didn't really understand what he was saying. It was very disjointed. At some point, he said, OK, Two-Face is accusing him of sleeping with his wife, right? At some point, he said, some people ambushed him. They beat him up. And he believes they were from Two-Face. At some point, he now brought his partner into it, that his partner and Annie Dibia and I think his partner's friend were somewhere. And he cheated on his partner. And the partner. The, 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 the gist was not flowing. It was like he was saying A, then C, then E. That it wasn't I like, and it wasn't just me. Because I went through the comment section, and people were like, what exactly is really happening? Now, what we could really say, what we could really pull out of this is that, OK, he's saying Two-Face accused him of sleeping with his wife. That, that's Two-Face's wife. And that he has been having a hell of a time. But he's saying a lot of things. He's not coming out to directly feel how he has been threatened, apart from the ambush, what he, what's, how his partner is involved in this, how he even knows Two-Face. OK, um, he said that they went on a tour together, and that's how he started talking to Annie Dibia. Why were you hanging out with her alone? There are a lot of like loopholes in this gist that he's leaving out. Now, um, Two-Face is responding with a lawsuit, and he has given him 48 hours to actually decide whether he's going to go ahead with it or not. I'm not going to say he's standing on his ground until that 48 hours is up, because a billion naira is a lot. And um, mm -hmm. you can obviously tell that there is something going on on the lining between mm -hmm. these two people. Now, there's something that we also know about Two-Face. Two-Face never responds. 
he, he just recently was in the news for he and uh, Annie Idibia's issue. He did not give any, well, he gave a response saying his family is dealing with it, but he would never give a response to say it's true or it's not true or whatever the case may be. So we can't really say for certain whether Brimo is wrong or Two-Face is wrong, but we just know at the moment in time that he's taking Brimo to court. Now we have to wait till tomorrow ending to know whether yeah. Brimo is actually going to come out and give that public apology or not. But whichever way it's going, I feel anything that has to do with Two-Face, you just have to wait it out. Okay, so um, I think these two people are veterans in their own right. And uh, I was very, I don't know, like... I don't even know how to describe my feeling when I saw uh, what Brimo is saying at mm -hmm. the moment. And I really feel that because, as you said, Chu Baba does not really respond to stuff. And um, I feel he's a gentleman. Like, if it is not that recently they have just been... Because, yes, he used to have back and forth, back and forth. And I think that one rested. And all of a sudden, Annie came with her own. And then they dragged it and all that. And he had to, like, apologize in a way. Like, just yeah. say, mm -hmm. let, just let's just move head, on yeah. and all that. And so, Brimo is coming with this again. Uh, I don't know. It's really, I would never understand certain dramas. Even if we say that this is entertainment and we enjoy to feast on things and all that. I just feel that there are some things that... Uh, Perhaps if you have issues and you know that person, maybe without bringing it on social media, yeah. you can actually just resolve log it, it out privately. or resolve it or but anyhow you want thing, to do Brian it. But here's the thing, Brian is one person that hasn't really come out to call anybody out before. So I feel like there's no smoke without fire. Because this is the first time, at least in recent times, maybe in the past five years, that Brian is calling out Someone another else. celebrity. The last time he trended was when he did one music video with his underwear. No, he's it, you know? just always talking about himself. <laughs> yes, he's very that me and yeah, your legends. True. We are not on the same so level. So I'm wondering I think why he will come out. Like when you think about it very well, why would Brian just decide to write a whole document that is a lie? So I feel like there's something going on here, but. You said, I feel like they have to just resolve it on their own, and we just have to keep our fingers crossed. And on if that. they have decided to take it to the court, and you know, <laughs> somebody is suing someone, uh, let's hear it from the court, yes, actually. Now, let's see All how right. it turns out. Yes, let's move on. Ray J and Princess love to get divorced for the third time. American singer, this ones are not just serious at all. American <laughs> singer and reality star Ray J has filed for divorce from uh, his fashion designer wife, Princess Love, for the third time. According to sources, he filed the divorce documents in Los Angeles County Superior Court amid his hospitalization for pneumonia. If you would recall, Princess first filed for divorce in May 2020, months after the couple got into a massive fight in Las Vegas. It was reported at the time that they had been living separately since February 2020, but they later reconciled amid COVID-19 quarantine. Ray J then filed for divorce in September that same year, citing irreconcilable differences. He also asked the judge to uphold their prenuptial agreement and to grant him joint custody of their children. Well, after the September filing, they reconciled again and moved their family to Florida. But the situation right now seems to be different with his new divorce filing. Ray J and Princess Love filed the knot, tied the knot in 2016 and they both shared two children together, three-year-old Melody and one-year-old Epic. Hmm. <sighs> okay, so let's just start off from there. No serious people, as you said. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think they're a representation of flawed human beings. Uh, we started hearing the news of the divorce from, uh, at, was it 2020? Uh, the beginning sometime in February. Then during the, the corona, the pandemic, when it hit and they were together at home, it's like, oh, we were able to make it work. Maybe because they were just all up in each other's together. faces. They dropped that filing. Uh, September filed for another one. The first time, I want you to hear some of the reasons. I feel like they are having compatibility issues or respect issues or communication issues. The first one, she said, oh, he left me and my child in Las Vegas, you know, stranded. The second one, I'm not sure they really mentioned it, but they're having issues that seem to be foundational and maybe they, they just keep patching it up because it's very obvious for them to just keep filing. Obviously, for them to still keep coming back, there is some sort of love or some sort of version of love they think they have for each other. But it's getting very exhausting. If they really want to divorce, they should just like do all of us a favor and let it go. Like. Thank you. I love doing all of us a favor because <laughs> there are people who just come every time in your space and they're like, what is it exactly? Mm -hmm. Even if there is going to be drama, yeah. let it be from other quarters. Like, what is it? We're tired of mm -hmm. hearing your name every now and then. And the same thing over and over again. Like, if it's even relationship drama, 
I think they should be able to resolve it amongst themselves instead of going to court, coming back, going to court, coming back. Like, if this is going to be the last time or if there's going to be another one, we don't even know. But we just hope they resolve it. Mm. At some point, we won't be interested. E exactly. <laughs> With all the drama, drama, drama. Young, <laughs> keeping a sigh of relief. Like, <gasps> that's it on entertainment news. Yes, guys, it is time for celebrity birthday shout out. First on our list in alphabetical order, we have Bruno Mars, who is 36 today. Wow. Bruno Mars is an American award-winning singer, songwriter, record producer, multi-instrumentalist, and dancer. He's known for his stage performances, retro showmanship, and for performing in a wide range of musical styles, including pop, R&B, funk, soul, reggae, hip-hop, and rock. He's popular for songs just as just the way you are, I will catch a grenade for you. Yeah. Today I don't feel like doing anything. 24K Magic and others. Like, I can sing all these songs uh -uh. nonstop. I am in ah. love with Bruno Mars. Happy yeah. birthday to Happy Bruno Mars. I think it's just one fun human being. Like, mm -hmm. you know, with his craft, it's yeah. not so serious like that. Yeah. And it's a serious at the same time because he knows what he's doing and you're just loving it. Anyhow, Bruno he's giving it to you. It's a bundle of happy, contagious, yeah. positive yes. vibes. Yes. Like, yes. Also super talented. Yeah. Happy birthday! Yeah. And the song, the lazy song, can trend and all year long, I like, can I just wake up in the morning and be like, today I don't feel happy birthday to him, talented human. Sissy Wynans is 57 today. <laughs> She's an American gospel singer who has won 12 Grammy Awards wow. and sold over 17 million records worldwide. In 2015, she became the best-selling gospel artist of all time. She's popular for songs such as Mercy Said No, Woo! King of Kings, Fill My Cup, Lord, Waging War, and others. Hmm. Mm. This is Me a great and... human. Yes, she great, is. Great. I mean, 12 Grammy. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not... 17 what? million, million. records. It's not beans, baby. <laughs> and when you hear the songs, they are actually um, very inspired. That's like, right. They're, they're evergreen songs. Yeah. Them. Happy birthday to her. Happy birthday. Also, my Damon is 51 today. <laughs> he is an American actor, producer, and screenwriter ranked among Ferb's most bankable <sighs> stars. He's acted in several Hollywood blockbuster movies, but he's most popular for his roles as Jesse Bourne in the Bourne franchise from 2002 to 2016, and as a con man in the Ocean's Trilogy from 2001 to 2007. Yeah, mm. he has like Aye. a grace of staying long in places. Yes, so. That's 14 years on, on Born and how many years on the other one? Six That's years. a long, long, long time. Happy Seven. birthday. Happy birthday to him. <laughs> Nick Cannon is 41 today. <laughs> Such a clown. The hilarious Nick Cannon is an American comedian, rapper, and television host. On television, he began as a teenager on All That, before going on to host the Nick Cannon show, Wild and Out, America's Got Talent, Lip Sync Battle Shorties, and The Max Singer. He's also acted in various movies such as Drumline, Love Don't Cost a Thing, and Roll Bounce. Mm. And, you know, I actually love his friendship with Kevin Hart, and I love how he goes all out when he wants to do things mm, like mm. recently uh today on his show he had the black eyed peas and Woo! he used their line he, used, he had will i am from the black eyed peas he posted on his instagram and he used a line from their song as his intro and i'm like damn just take uh, me away i <laughs> particularly love nick Cannon because of his sense of humor he has mm -hmm. a very good sense of humor and i think he's the only person who uh stands in for wendy williams and he does the show so so that is well. Very well and then again do not forget that he has uh, twins with mariah carey hey. Hey. i mean i was Said. Probably one of the things I just respect him for is the fact that he started off with his show pretty early on before doing yeah. some of the major shows he has done. So that takes a lot of guts to do That's that. That's right. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. So our very own Shafi Bello is 51 today.
She's a Nigerian film actress and singer who first shot into the entertainment scene when she featured in the 1997 hit song by Shei Shodomi, Shei Shodimu titled Love Me Jeje. She has since featured in several Yoruba and English language films and TV series, which include Tain Soul, Gwamogbomo Express, Chief Daddy, Elevator Baby, Your Excellency, It's Her Day, and others. Mm. You know, whenever I watch the video of Love Me Jeje, Love Me Jeje, mm -hmm. and I see, I'm like, hey, Auntie Shafi. Auntie Shafi ah. is one very well put together woman. She's always poised, you know, whether she's speaking English or Yoruba, that thing. I like about her. Yeah, like, it's true. I think she's a babe. Yes, yeah, yeah. a babe. At 51. Mm. Yeah. And anything mm. always fits her. Like, the picture she posted for her birthday today, it was side by side her mother's picture, her late mom. And she was like, This is a recreation. I'm very lucky to be able to spot this look with my mom, the look she gave from the 60s. So, wow. happy birthday to her. All right, we also have Teddy Riley, who is 54 today. He's an American singer, songwriter, record producer, and multi-instrumentalist credited for the creation of the new Jack Swing genre. He infused hip-hop and R&B in his production work with artists, including Michael Jackson, Bobby Brown, Robin Thicke, Snoop Dogg, Lady Gaga, Boys Two Men, and the list goes on and on and on. That's right. Happy birthday to him, very happy talented birthday. human being. Happy birthday. And of course, happy birthday to you out there that is celebrating. But before I tell you happy birthday, happy birthday to my sister. Oh. My elder sister, Miss Charmaine. She's the mother of my beautiful baby girl. The one you always see on my page. That's, yeah, I'm not, I don't have a child. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being a second mommy to me. Mm -hmm. And of course, happy birthday to you out there that is celebrating. Well, I'm wishing you everything good that you wish yourself. I'm wishing you peace, happiness, joy, and other things that money cannot buy. Mwah! Up next is Rewind. Take a look at what we are talking about in today's history lesson. Watch, 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 watch this. Let's rewind. On this day in 1980, after playing two shows at the Madison Square Garden, Bob Marley collapsed in Central Park while jogging. He was brought to Sloan Kettering Hospital. And in 1990, at the 24th Country Music Association Award, George Strait wins. Finally, in 2015, on this day, actress and singer Selena Gomez reveals she has lupus. And that's it on Rewind. Watch, 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 watch this. International. Hey, hey, hey. Foreign, foreign, baby, you're international. Hey, hey, hey. This song. Hey, hey. <laughs> you know, it's feeling my style today, you understand? Oh. Going. It's not my type. I'm into burgers. I don't use dark pool, only helicopters. Oh, wow. You're <laughs> Woo! All right, guys, enough bragging. They're not telling me because. So the thing is that I really truly believe that you look like a rich auntie. Oh, yes, so. like those ones from Isale Co. So I'm wondering whether there is no Ewa hey. Goy. They have money. They have money. They wear gold. They have money. And, and all shop. those things. But there is a while going, Sha. Do you want to be foreign or you want to be like rich auntie from Israel? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's time for social view. The dragging has begun. They started off with me. But let's go to social media to see what's happening. You be poo. Just <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> now, this is one of the Power Puff girls. I'm not even sure her name, whether it's uh, Sugar Spice. I'm not sure. Mm. Anyway, it says, when your sugar daddy don't want to pay for your stuff anymore. And she's making a phone call. Hello, is this Mr. Smith's wife? <laughs> um, sir, is this supposed to be? I don't even know what to say. <clears throat> so she's going to go cast the guy now. Because why are you not paying for my stuff? Hello. So she wants so to actually, be you know the funniest thing, Mr. No, because at the end of the day, it will end. It will end. Mm. So whether you go that route or you or go, you, it's, it's still coming to an end. So it's not even a good move. So Waste she's preparing for premium tears. Woo! Mm. Premium tears indeed. Mm. All right, so this is a man that is under a wheelbarrow. I'm not sure what exactly he's trying to do. He's trying to fix it. He's trying to fix a wheelbarrow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Engineering students, when they go back home after their first semester. Before. Yes, yeah, so. So they, these are. <laughs> see, you know, when they have taught you theory, and they didn't teach you practical. You as a computer so student. You decide to uh -uh. 
I can write a code for you. Mm. Do you need anything? Do you need a code? Well, what semester? <laughs> what did you do? That's what I'm gonna... trying to say now. That I can, I can make a calculator. We don't need to use this calculator. Let me write code easily. And then your parents like, will say, oh, my daughter is coding. Uh, uh, they will not be telling their friends. She's studying, she's studying. You know, you know what she's studying? They want that my mother did. Her phone's spoiled. So they tell my daughter can fix it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't fix your phone. <laughs> All right, moving on. Younger siblings. I just wanted to greet you. Equals to us, Billing. This one is very true. Well, I don't My know, younger Sha. sister, ordinary tagging on social media is Billy. Eh? Just to tag just me to tag. in an Insta story is Billy. Mm. I don't know, Sha. I'm uh, looking, I'm looking because, for how to deal because, yeah, because I'm not really. You, yeah. uh, my own is not really like that. My story, I don't know. Maybe I should check. Maybe there's somebody else after me. <laughs> she's the younger one. <laughs> I'm the young, I'm she's the, the last one. born. So why you But sometimes bringing... I used to remind them, I'm the last born. Oh. <laughs> you don't deal. You know they deal. I mean, they deal. <laughs> well, let's just move on. Wow. Me, when I see what belongs to Caesar. <laughs> Ah, and this is a baby wow. gleefully eating, I think, a watermelon, eating mm -hmm. it with his full chest. You know how they say what belongs to Caesar? Yeah, yeah, give, yeah. Us, yeah. give to Caesar yeah, what belongs yeah, to Caesar. Caesar. This one, <laughs> Caesar. Caesar, they were in Caesar. Caesar is not in the equation at all. Oh. I don't know. I know. This baby should be a Nigerian baby, Sha, but yeah, let's just move on. Dating me doesn't mean we should talk every day. It is a relationship, not a ra radio station, my dear. Wow. Do you agree, ladies? You agree? Uh, I do hmm. not I don't agree. Why won't we talk to you every day? As in, because I, I think the person that wrote this thing must be a guy. So what does that mean? I should start like, the day, okay, yes, after I've spoken to God, then, then what next? <laughs> I should not just, hi. I don't be looking. No, you even send messages. See, hi, baby. If you I, can say don't kill uh, me with calls, but you can't say which that. Which I will not talk hard. every day. Yeah. So all the things that happened uh, the day, I should keep it for who? I should not be soliloquizing. To myself. Mm. Because ah, uh -uh. I mean, I don't get. No, 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 no. Stop ah. that. Stop it. We're not, we're not finding it funny. All right. In 2009, you spent hours assigning individual ringtones to everyone that you know. In 2021, set phone to silence and let everything go to voicemail. Who is, is on this table? Is that why you call majority? Hey. Hey. Away from everyone. Um, I am on this don't table. worry. They are proud. That, that's proud. just the summary. It's they are proud. Mind. That's just the summary. It's called peace of mind. You know... <laughs> Mm. When you are not using some type of phones, if you know, you know. If you are using that kind of phone, your heart will be troubling you. That the phone will ring. All your, your spirit, your soul, your body is not at peace. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you have to put the phone. Oh, is, is, is it touching your spirit? <laughs> See, me, I used to put my phone to silent, but it's yeah. missed a very important call. Hmm. I started putting my phone on loud. See, oh, that, that, this call thing, like, please. It's like this. Call, I will tell you when you can uh, call me. There are times. Ah. All right, this is the uh, two split screens of Queen Latifah. This is an old video where she's firing someone with a gun, and another one where she's smiling. And the caption says, my mama, when she was raising us, versus her now raising her grandkids. Yeah, mm. I don't know why they're, they're like that. They're all like that. Mm. Very, very strange. So you're like, but uh, uh, she used to be. Why is she now why being very nice? Extra like, leave them, leave them, let them play. Let them. And so, so that and you can now be the one shooting. That's your own response. Yeah, you are the gangster it. now. Somebody, there has to be good cop, bad Graduation. cop. Graduation. So now you are the bad cop. <laughs> wow. This and is then life. if anything happens, you are the mother. Life. Life. Why would you allow my grandchild, to, my mother, mm. when she's sleeping, do not disturb my nephew and my niece? Once she hears, <laughs> my mother, who is that? I said, mother, <laughs> calm down. You don't say you are tired now. Uh, I think that as they just get older, they just become softer yeah. and softer. Mm. All right, moving on. When the relationship is just two days old, boo. Baby, I saw you inside Kakena Pep. And the baby's responding, Oh, I saw you more, baby. Eh? Please, what's going on here? I'm because really going on. I can't relate. I'm really <laughs> going on. <laughs> I can't relate. <laughs> So obviously the relationship is new. So everything, everything is oh, this is so you're looking Give at them me. your eyes are so sweet. Three months. I love the way you smile. Uh, I three months is still. I saw mm -hmm. you more. Oh uh, you are I ate rice to you. You ate rice. I ate rice right too. Wow. Wow. What do you say? What do you say? Oh my god, what's so amazing? Do you know I'm going to sleep now? Me too. Anyways, your breakfast <laughs> is loading. It's yeah, going around. You know. said that you're going to chop breakfast. <laughs> 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 okay, ah, our very own Mim King has made an appearance finally. Yes, so. And he says, Soap way Baba give me. I just they fresh anyhow. Be like in our organic soap. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> is he doing what he's meant to do? See, this is what this soap is doing two things. Two in one. Two in one, my mm -hmm. sister. Fresh and then... Uh, Buy your two in one soap. Mm -hmm. It gives you the results mm -hmm. and it makes you fresh. Mm -hmm. You blow mm -hmm. like Gloria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is he only just being Do you fresh? want fame? Do you want fortune? Do you want money? Do you want intelligence? Do you want wisdom? Do you want everything? And you will still glow in the process. You will be a shiny contact star. Contact them, no, not wow. me. Don't contact me. <laughs> contact them for but that soap. See, see this. This is <laughs> heartbreak. heartbreak. I'm crying. So, sorry for now, you. Now, organic soap, you know mm. they work. Mm. You know they work. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's as you're getting fresh, something... Let's, let's it's not, not go. Really no, yeah, don't go let's just move. Let's just another work. <laughs> my guys, so this is a conversation between somebody and their guys. And you say, my guys, um, uh, school now scam. Me, guy, I swear, but I scam. Phone vibrates, cuts rep. Dr. Uzo is marking attendance. Me, run. Running. <laughs> you know you know that song that they said, <laughs> that was training one time, they say, run. Yeah. Now you're <laughs> At the end of the day, forget all these people that say, school is this, oh. this, this, We all went to school, oh. <laughs> I think you will find out. Most of them have hey. masters and PhD. Hey. Mm. Don't be one of those people that didn't mm. read for school. You didn't mm. read for exam. Man. Okay, now. You'll be on your own. Mm. All right, moving on. So one day, I will have to sit down with my parents and tell them, I found one. I found someone to marry. As shy as I am. I'll just text them. Hey. What are you guys going to do? Hey. Know, honey pots will just give the news. Fritz. You know, I don't Somebody see, I don't son don't see find me. me now. What about, what about Somebody you? Somebody's son don't find me. Like that? Uh-uh. No, we, it's going to be a process, but I'll tell them. So we we'll start from friendship. Because sometimes, then, you know how you first go into this person as friend? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? The person has upgraded, though. <laughs> but in my house, they can be very funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if, you're, if you were dating someone before and you have introduced, you know how you break up with that yeah, person? Yeah, and you think that with other families, they will say, eh, Shabi, you mm -hmm. brought the person and you say you're not interested any longer, yeah. so they will follow you. Eh, hey, on my house, you will answer questions. You don't bring another person. They're not behaving somehow to the person. Uh -huh. See you. <laughs> but you see now you... So you come to explain, like, so why? My own call you, so what, what, why did you say that that one is not... Uh -uh. See, you allowed. Is it not your choice? <laughs> At the end, I think they want dating the person. They are funny, man. No, they, they are. It's, it's all. It's a no, they are looking at family Felicia. relationship. Yeah. Yeah. If you are dating me, just know you answer hundred questions. Ah. Where are you from? Where's your family from? Where's your somebody's brother? <laughs> She's interviewed. All right, let's just take the last one for today. It says the soup I put on fire to heat was burning, and I was in the room saying, I don't know who is cooking by this time. Hey, and why I can cook. I can't cook your this, food, this thing baby. It's always very bad. When you're insulting someone, you now realize that it's you that did it. Anyways, guys, just be showing that you have to be careful what you use your mouth yeah. to say. All right, that's all we can take on Social View for the week. And, of course, the first hour of the show as well. We'll be back at 1 for the second half of the show. So keep it locked. Welcome back to the second half of East Splash. Woo. Yes, guys, so far we've brought you the news, Celebrity Birthdays, Rewind, and Social View. It is now time to chew it off. And today being Friday, it's all about gratitude. That's right. Okay, it falls on my lap today, and uh, well, I'm grateful for everything because, you know, at the beginning of the show, something happened to me, and uh, oh. you know how you're not just happy at all, you're yeah. just very sad, but you know that thing of just always give thanks, you know, I think there is this thing that comes with it, you can't explain it, but then just continue to give, give thanks. thanks. And <clears throat> I think, um, you know, things might not work the way you want Specs, them to work yeah. or expect them to work at the end of today. But I think there would always be, because sometimes you're like, oh, will there be another opportunity or will it be as great as or some, something of that sort? But I think that at the end of the day, God understands everything. And yeah. It is, yeah. your own is just to... Just continue to give thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because, I mean, I'm just speaking from experience now, and I'm telling you how I feel at the moment. moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's just about it. I think things mm -hmm. will sort themselves out. God mm -hmm. will fix things for you. Mm -hmm. Lou, your sis. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it might sound a bit like I'm going to church, but I, I know that so many times in our lives, in our daily livings and all that, there are some times that maybe you actually planned some stuff to be, go a certain way, and they did not go that right. way. Mm -hmm. And I just think that sometimes you don't really have to sweat it. Yes, yeah. it might be painful. It might be, oh, yeah. wow, why, why is it why happening is it this way? Do yeah. you understand? But just calm down. Just be patient and just continue to mm -hmm. be thankful. Mm -hmm. I was actually discussing something similar with my friend yesterday. I was talking about how 
God is a jealous God, that people think that when you hear God is a jealous God, like it's a bad thing to say, but it's not. And that if you make anything a God in your life, God will show you that, oh, okay, since this one is your God, no, 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 no. Mm. Say I go run down by yourself. And you find out that that thing doesn't work. That I used to be the kind of person that I'll just start off the day and just be like, anything that God wants to happen in the day should happen without really having plans. Because in as much as you say, oh, well, your five-year plans, well, your 10-year plans, sometimes you plan, 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 look back and see whether some of the plans you had five years ago is what is happening right now. You know, so you can't really be in the position to uh, be a God in your life. So sometimes let go and let go. So for instance, yesterday I was still trying to talk about projects I was on and the person was billing me a lot of money. And I was just with my friend, I was like, hmm, God, you're yeah, here, you know, you're yeah, here, yeah, no, I don't have this money. And it was such a testimony because the next call I got was from my sister. She was asking me for something. And then the next call after my sister called me was somebody finalizing a deal with me ending of the month. And it was just the amount of money that I was going okay. to pay that person. These things, it's, it's not magic. You know, it's not something I had planned. In fact, when the person, when I was concluding the person, I was looking at myself like, you know, you're saying yes, but... You don't know where it's going to come from. And this is how you have to live life. You have to understand that it's not really in your courts. And when bad things happen, maybe it was just supposed to happen that way. Maybe it was supposed to alleviate you from something worse that was going to happen. And as you said, if you just keep having that, that attitude of gratitude, you just realize that there's a lot to be grateful for. That's right. Yeah, so it's, it's a very, very powerful thing you're saying right there. And yeah. I hope you're feeling better. Yeah. Hey, hi, What you just said is mm. very valid because my meditation this morning, I have this app that gives me meditation every day. And the meditation this morning was about the power of the tongue mm -hmm. and professing what you want. And when people always say, oh, this cannot happen, I'm always like, okay, I used to be like that. But when I started using the app, I was like, okay, because it teaches you to ask for what you want. Mm -hmm. Declare things into your life. If you do not declare, if you do not say, the power of the tongue, the tongue is very powerful. And when you declare things into your life, you should also work. Don't just think, oh, because I'm declaring this will happen. Mm -hmm. No, it's uh, work and faith. Yeah. By the time you declare, you work towards it, and you ask the Lord to help you with it. Hey. It will work. Yes. Yes, no matter yes, how long yes. it takes, so it's yes. a work. Sunday, actually. It's a, it's a full-blown Sunday service. So yeah, you guys, I love what you both Friday. said, and it's very valid. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so I'm um, moving on to go and collect tithes and offerings. Yeah, yeah. 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 all the time. Ching ching come and see what the Lord has done. But it's still Friday, so we cannot we cannot get over the fact <laughs> that Amanda is very shy and shy. Yes, so because it is Friday, and if you know Nigerians, anywhere you are watching from, you know that we love to party. Yes, so. Amanda is bling 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 bling. All right, guys, it is time for a quick recap of the entertainment news in case you missed it earlier. We told you two Baba threatens Brimo with one billion Naira lawsuit. Hmm. Ray J and Princess love to get divorced for the third time. Hmm. Another buzz booze. All right, guys, we'll be back after this break with today's Daily Top 5. Yeah. No more insufficient funds. Hey. Declaring. Hey. Wow. I guess it stemmed from what I said. Like, I know, right? What you said. And what said, I asked. What you said. <laughs> April. Declaration. Before the end of the year. No more insufficient funds. No All right, guys. Welcome back to the show. It is now time for Daily Top 5. And of course, with the usual tweets, courtesy of Lush Hair. Check it out. Got on box braids, twists, or even crochet braids, you are not planning on a two weeks braid stint. In wearing your braids for a long time, they become rough and old, and sometimes you have events where you need to slay. The old and rough looking braids become a problem. Instead of spending hours taking off the braids to make a new hairstyle, you can give them life by trying these styles. Now, it's time to show you five ways to make your braids look brand new. This is Daily Top 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, watch me. Hot water and gel treatment. The extensions used in making braids can fray and get rough over time. To solve this slight issue, get scissors, styling gel and boil some water. Trim those little stray hairs already showing, then place all the extension in hot water. Dry off. Rub some styling gel into the hair as it dries. Your old braids will bounce back to near brand new status. 
redo or tighten the edges. Once your braids are aging, you will notice more hair and the extension isn't as firm as before. An easy solution is to go back to the salon and have them redo all the braids around your edges or use crochet pins to tighten. Then get a hot water and gel treatment to make your braids brand new. Give it some edge control loving. Whoever invented edge control deserves to be knighted and honored. If your edges are going wonky, just apply some edge control to that area. You can also apply edge control to the braids themselves. It works like styling gel. Allow it dry, voila, brand new braids. Switch styles. If you've had long braids, you can chop them into half. If your braids were straight, you could curl them. You can even do both, chop and curl, or loosen the braids halfway and secure them for a fuller and more natural look. Switching Styles buys you an additional two to three weeks of braid awesomeness. Cover your edges. If all edges fall, style your hair to cover your edges. In order to still rock your braids with the broken edges, you style your hair in a way that does not reveal the edges or use a scarf. Hairstyles that reveal your fallen edges are as shaming as nothing else. Did we help you out or what? Don't forget to share your tips of revamping old braids if you have some. Today's Daily Top 5 was brought to you by Lush Hair. That's pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah. And that's it with our Daily Top 5 Hot Lush Hair. We will be back after this break with our guest for today. Yes, thank you so much, guys, for staying here with us. And we told you we have a guest. So, yeah, we do have a guest in the studio. Join us on the show this Friday afternoon is a 27-year-old economist and fashion entrepreneur who is a graduate of the University of Abuja. She describes herself as being curious, dramatic, ambitious, and fun. She also loves to be the center of attention. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show from the Big Brother Night Show reality show shine your eye. Nini! Welcome to the show. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Good to have you here. I'm glad I'm here. Wow. All right, so Nini, quickly, I really want to know, when you were going into the house, did yeah. you have any strategy? Honestly, I didn't have a strategy, considering I wasn't even into entertainment before going into the app. So I had no strategy, and I didn't even know how it works. What was your audition wow. like? OK, so my audition was, obviously, I was about to launch my physical store. OK. And it was during the audition time. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to do an audition. I haven't even seen audition videos. I'd never, it wasn't even part of my plan. So my audition was actually even less than two minutes. Wow. What did you say? I just say hello, is whole big brother is Nini, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't even know I was gonna get to call back and then when I did, I was like, wow. I didn't think I was gonna make it to the show. And then from every stage, you know what? I even thought I was dreaming until I got on the show. <laughs> really, because first time out, I didn't think they were gonna pick me. So wow. getting on the show and everything that happened in the house, yeah. uh, you said you didn't have any strategy, but at the point people felt you were using Saga as a strategy. And then there was this point that uh, you said you guys felt like Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. What was that about? Okay, first of all, using Saga as a strategy, I'm smarter than that. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to do a strategy, I wouldn't be using Saga as a strategy. Yay. So it was actually, there was no use to, I didn't even use Saga actually, it was a friendship and it was a give and take. Mm -hmm. He helped me and I helped him and we really enjoyed our company because he was one person I connected with and we'll have conversation. It was someone I was really comfortable with. And the Bonnie and Clyde, it was when they gave us punishment and it was a joke. Because we were cleaning, I'm like, Saga, you can't be bringing punishment. So it was just a joke. And Mm. This is what it is. So still talking about Saga, I mean, you, he was punished because he couldn't stay away from you for, I think, was it 24 okay. hours at the time? Um, that and wasn't then... why we were punished, actually. Okay. So according to our brief, we were punished because we've been doing a couple of whispering. Mm. But I think Big Brother just maxed it up. <laughs> ah, so you guys were whispering. But where I was driving to was then yeah. Big Brother now asked you to leave the house, which is what mm. everybody was talking about. Yeah. And then you were watching what was going on from mm -hmm. your secret room. And then we saw 
uh, we all of us at home saw how Saga broke down. Yeah. And then I'm hearing you saying, oh, he's my friend, he's my partner. Mm -hmm. You know, I felt comfortable with him. But obviously, you can tell from his end, there was something probably more romantic on that end. So okay. how did you feel okay, watching so him break down? First of all, I couldn't tell. Honestly, because you, know, you couldn't tell for real. No, because Saga never said anything about that to me. Really? Yes, it was when the four was were really close. You know, when they gave Saga his tags, I knew how bad I felt. So honestly, I even thought Saga handled it well. Because Saga is very outspoken and he doesn't max his words. He says how he feels sometimes and he's a joker, so he might make jokes and people will take it more personal. So I thought he even handled it well because when Big Brother gave him his tags and he knew how to piss me off. So I was so angry, so I knew how he would have felt me missing. And I think the effects I put in my tax, I mean, I, I was not thinking, do you think you did it too much? <laughs> because I, I just picked up a fight with him, obviously, in the arena. I knew how to get him. I just like, why, why are you shouting at Liko? I knew it would pay me. And then when he tried to speak to me, I was like, you know what? I'm actually going through a lot right now, and I have a lot of emotions running through me. <laughs> so I, he was basically, you know, when we spoke about it, he was really worried because he thought we had the KV situation. It was really sad for us, and we took it really hard. And if you are away from your family for three months, Trust me, you have a lot of emotions running through you. So he thought I probably had a breakdown and then I had to leave the show because we had a fight. Mm. Because he tried to speak to me just like five minutes before I left. But I really didn't want to sort that because I knew it would be easier for me to leave when we were fighting. <laughs> so when he, I was like, please, I'm actually going through a lot. And then when I was behind the house, Angel came. I just said, you know what, I'm just going to give Angel some sprinkles too. <laughs> <laughs> and then when she came, she was like, I said, you know what, I just really want to just stay by myself before I have a mental breakdown. <laughs> and then Actor, I'm like, a lot, extra. a lot of noise is going in the house. She was like, yeah, me too. Sometimes I want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. it was that. So he really thought it was his fault because I was his closest friend and I have made this person leave the game. So that's why I was feeling that way. And I really thought he handled it better than I would have. Oh, wow. Mm. Interesting. Yes. OK. So, Nini, you kept talking about I have a relationship outside. Yeah. I have a relationship outside. Now that you are now outside. Mm. I mean, I have to say now that you are now outside. <laughs> Okay, because uh, one time when we were in, yeah. we just started seeing one picture of a guy and Nini, and they said, this is Nini's boyfriend, though. Okay, so... Did you see the picture? Obviously, I'm going to be so sincere is, to is you. That your real so, boyfriend? coming out of the house, that was my biggest shocker. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> because I knew, obviously, when you go to Big Brother, you're going to have a couple of backlash here and there. Yeah. But my friend said, oh, somebody came out and said, yeah, your boyfriend. And then I was like, okay, can you send me the picture? And then I said, I was like... <laughs> so who's that person? Some was dude. It no, it's not actually Photoshop, and I'm very honest. Wow. Some dude I knew years ago, never dated him, never have even thought about dating him. And that picture, there was one picture of me. I was actually sick. And then I came to see him because he was my friend. And he took a picture. And I, you know, I, I, like I've always said in all my interviews, because my first interview, when they asked, I said, OK, I haven't even seen the picture. Mm. And then they brought it up. I'm like, really? I said, OK, if you're dating somebody and you want to bring proof, I expect a more lovey-dovey picture. Not a picture you're sneaking. I'm like, ah, oh, she's sleeping. I have to take one picture. Uh -uh. Mm. Wow. I expected more pictures, like maybe ah, actor taking pictures. Yes. Yeah. How is your relationship? Great. Right now? Yeah. For real? Yes, nice I've been in Lagos, that. obviously. I haven't seen my boyfriend yet. Okay. Oh. But yeah, we're good. Okay. All right. Oh, great. Amazing. All right, let's go on this break. Nini is still here, and yeah. we'll return with more Nini in the house. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Yes, welcome back to the show. Mm -hmm. We still have a Nini from the Big Brother Nigeria oh, reality yeah. show with us yep, in the yep. building. Mm -hmm. All right, so Nini, I mean, you have been out of the house for yeah. some time now. Mm -hmm. uh, has the reaction been for you? Honestly, overwhelming. Love and a couple of hates. Really? <laughs> Yeah, but obviously I don't even dwell in negativity. So all I see is the love and the positive comments and it's been overwhelming great. And I consider myself a very regular girl. 
And before I came, still, you still regular, still, still. yes. Still. Hmm. And that's the thing. I don't even know how to act when people are like, I'm like, should I smile? <laughs> should I what should I do? <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so, and come, before I came on the show, I was a very private person. So I'm still even trying to get used to it because my people are like, post on Instagram, like, oh, I need to do that. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just still just trying to find a balance. But the love is massive, and I really appreciate all the love. And I always say in my interview, I just want to kiss everybody that voted for me. Like, Aww. Because really, I think, and that's what I even said coming on the show, because I'm not even an entertainer. I'm not going to come and be dancing on the show. I'm a businesswoman, and I do intend to just sit somebody down and bore them with business conversation on a reality show. So being on the show for nine weeks, I am more than grateful, because being there, I saw talent leave every week. And I didn't think I was better than them, honestly. So, yeah, I'm dwelling on all the positivity. I'm just having fun and That's enjoying sweet. it. That is so nice. sweet. So sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, yes. <laughs> and um, you have said that you're a businesswoman and um, you're not even an entertainer. Uh, I would wonder because, you know, some people, when they were leaving, they added stuff to what they said they would be doing or they were doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So have you added anything to being a businesswoman right now? Leaving the house, did you discover something? Okay, so in the house, obviously, before I got on the show, my friend always said, oh, they used to give a lot of tags and it's going to be a couple of acting. Come and practice. She even had a video of saying that to me and I was making jokes. But when I got into the act, I discovered I could act. But I'm not going to just dive into acting. I might test waters and see. But there are people who actually specialize in acting. I've never had that prior experience. So maybe I can test waters. But I've done a couple of modeling shoes before I got in the house. So yes, I'm going to be doing modeling to with my business but other than that maybe yeah my dear host because sometimes i like to talk okay. sometimes yeah, sometimes sometimes <laughs> actually sometimes i like to talk when i'm Vivi very he likes to talk all ah. the time That's because <laughs> i got comfortable in the house but like i need to be comfortable to be yeah. able to like yeah so you're so, saying modeling you're saying modeling your business loads of happy. businesses businesses loads wow. of like businesses. what so obviously I'm going to do my fashion brand, then I have a, um, an air product coming on, and then I have a couple of businesses that doesn't even have anything to do with entertainment. Okay, yeah. so what yeah. part of uh, the house do you miss? Is it the Saturday parties where you and Saga always had fun, or the task, or what particular part Honestly, do you miss? Honestly, the only thing I miss is, big, uh, this is Big Brother Nini, this is a microphone infringement. <laughs> That's the <laughs> Big brother shall want to hear everything I'm saying. Uh, and I'm I could do it. I'm wearing my mic, big brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what should we look forward to from you? Okay, so obviously, um, in a couple of weeks, if everything goes well, I'm going to launch my physical store in Abuja. Ooh, and my big website. Congrats. Thank you. And if everything goes well, hopefully we get a physical store in Lagos too. And yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, so oh, no. what was that feeling when white money was being handed the everything and they asked the question, so who are you happy to see here? And he said, my daughter, Nini. Oh, amazing. You know, white money is my daddy, even though we used to fight sometimes, but like very nice fights. I okay. used to always tease him. I know white money loved me and I love him too. Is my dad, and I was really excited he won because I said that in my interviews. Because why money were you rooting for him? Yes, I did. I even posted this picture. But you know what? I always say people see what they want to see. So I rooted for him even in my interviews. That if why money wins, amazing because then I get to have a share to take care of myself. Okay. <laughs> he always says, why money is going to take care of me? So it was very exciting to see him win out. That was when I went on my first live on Instagram when White Money won. I was mm. super excited. Aww. Aww. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Nene, for coming. Uh, Minga, you thank are you such a good sport. Me. It's thank so you. sweet. Thank I mean, you. it is what you see that you get. Thank you. And that's it with our guest for today. We will be back after this break with the ear splash raffle draw. Cut to see the Sharp Sharp Game Show giveaway. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we are back again with our Shop Shop Game Show giveaway. Now, if you're following our social media platforms at TVC Connect on Instagram and Facebook, we are sure that you saw the questions we put up this week, which was, 
how many sharp sharp game questions are you to answer correctly to win the daily prize of 5,000 naira in cash and name two eSplash presenters that left the show and won month. Now the correct answers are five questions and the presenters are Foladele in February and Arike in August. If you didn't yes. get those answers, then you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so we can see you all sent in your answers by commenting on our post on Facebook and Instagram and we had a whole lot of correct answers. So mm. in the spirit of fairness as usual, mm -hmm. we will be having the Sharp Sharp Game Show raffle draw right here on East Flash. Okay, Honeypot is doing the honors. Hmm. Honeypot, speak well, Luz. I'm about to pray. Hmm. Honeypot is shaking this thing. Ha! Okay. 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 Ooh, should it be? So, wait, before you open it, let me just quickly put this out there. So, you know, we've selected five names with the correct answers from yes, Instagram, yes. another five from Facebook, and the lucky name that Honeypot just picked this afternoon from the magical bowl will be winning a silly fan courtesy, the Woo! Sharp Sharp Game Show! Are you ready? Yes! Honey Pot, I'm unveil! Yeah! Mm. The unveiling! And the winner! Drum roll! Boom! Rahmat Abdullah! Yay! <laughs> congratulations, Rahmat okay. Abdullah. Congratulations, yeah, to, congratulations Rahmat to you, Rahmat Abdullah. You are our winner. We do, do love you. Yes, on Rama! East Flash. Mm. Thanks for being an amazing fan. Yes. And you know what, guys? Mm -hmm. You two can be like our winner today. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is look out for the next set of questions on our social media platforms. Give us the correct answers and you instantly qualify for the East Flash raffle draw. <laughs> where you can win exciting prizes. Just so you know, we still have more where that came from. And it's very easy see the Sharp Sharp Game Show giveaway! Yay! Congratulations once more, Amat. Okay, we will be back after this time out. Wow. What a day. Now, before we go, guys, here's this week's reminder that happiness is free. Check it out. This is my budget, so... This is my budget, and this is the way I want to be moving. Thank you. Do you understand? And she made it so interesting that when they were carrying the nylon, she was avoiding the nylon and I was doing it. It's not yet time. I have to do a whole roundabout. Then come out, give you one. Say my name, say my name. They are like, those people who do enjoy Korea, have a dance, actually. Yeah, in churches. So... I think I'm going to go this Busayo way because I already have the costume. Eh. So I just need, she had like four or yeah, five. Eh. Four. Yeah. And she yeah. used all right. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for doing this with us today and this week. It's been so fantastic. Mm -hmm. We love you because without you, of course, we wouldn't be here in the first place. And I have done this with this queens, uh -huh, Amanda, uh -huh. and Tati. My name is Honeypot. We will see you on Monday, bigger and better. And don't yes. miss out on the recap of the show. Yes. So, okay.